Hey everybody, it's Dave Altavilla for Hot Hardware here with a quick preview look at the Alienware 13 R3 Revision 3 Gaming Notebook. This is a 13-inch machine in Alienware's Gaming Notebook lineup. It is mostly redesigned for 2016 here with much the same design signature as the previous generation, but a little bit more compact, a little bit more angular in spots, and a little bit thinner in spots as well. Um, but definitely more dense. And this machine is powered by an Intel Core i7 6700HQ quad-core processor with a boost frequency of 3.5 gigahertz. And none other than NVIDIA's GeForce GTX 1060 graphics processor GPU with 6 gig of GDDR5 memory. So you've got desktop quality graphics, desktop level graphics, absolutely, in this 13-inch 5-pound machine. So that's what I meant by dense. This is serious firepower per square millimeter and square inch inside the new Alienware 13 R3. Also on board our machine is a 512 gig PCI Express NVMe SSD. It's actually a Toshiba um, SSD and so we expect some serious performance out of that. We're running through the benchmark numbers now. As you can see, very compact machine, well built, um, anodized aluminum lid. Um, you've got a composite uh, magnesium alloy construction in the rest of the machine and just very well built and this back area here as you can see is also rather thick um, as, as they say baby's got back and this is where uh, a lot of the a lot of the cooling and um, venting goes for the CPU and GPU this little protrusion in the back here um, but the nice thing that that also does for the machine with this uh, hinge mechanism here is it does allow the panel to extend wide open a full 180 degrees. But let's get some more specs out of the way here for you first. Uh, you do get up to 32 gigs of DDR4 memory available in this machine. It's a Skylake platform, Intel Skylake. Um, but our machine came configured with a 16 gig 2x8 DDR4 2400 megahertz setup. And you do get up to 2 terabytes of PCI Express storage, a 1 terabyte PCI Express boot drive, uh, PCI Express NVMe, and also a spare 1 terabyte, up to 1 terabyte PCI Express SSD secondary drive. So again, our machine came configured with a 512 gig PCI Express NVMe SSD. It's actually a Toshiba SSD. We're going through the benchmark numbers now. We expect that to perform very well. But let's take a look around the rest of the machine and give you a look at some of the I.O. options. On the left edge here, you've got a USB 3.0 port, mic input, and a headphone jack. You also got a Kensington lock port down here as well. Flipping it around the other side, we are looking at a little bit more venting going on here. Another uh, USB 3 port and a USB 3 Type-C connector, um, but super speed USB 3 connectivity on that port. And on the back, you've got a bunch more I.O. going on back here. You've got uh, a power connector, of course. You've got the Alienware amp connector for external graphics and a Thunderbolt port. So you've got technically two options for external graphics here or external high bandwidth connectivity. HDMI, full-size HDMI port, display port, and a gigabit ethernet jack. So lots of I.O. connectivity on the back as well. And in typical Alienware gamer bling fashion, you get Alien FX, which allows you to customize lighting schemes in various regions of the machine, various zones of the machine. In this case, you've got eight zones, including the touchpad now, which is illuminated, as you can see. And it's actually really cool. It's a, it's a nice touchpad, um, very responsive, spacious touchpad with uh, two-button mouse control here. But you can control the color of eight different zones. And uh, we'll go ahead and change the touchpad here now. I just made that hot pink. Maybe that's not your color. Red green, what have you, um, this thing is, is pretty cool. Um, I, I like the touchpad effect. I think it looks great. And of course, you've got eight zones, eight different zones of customization across the laptop keyboard and even up in the display here for the Alienware logo where you can change the color for your preference. However, in my humble opinion, the absolute star of the show for the Alienware 13 R3 lineup is the OLED display option. Specifically, you are looking at a 13.3 inch QHD or 2560 by 1440 resolution OLED organic LED display. And uh, it is absolutely gorgeous. 40 nits of brightness here. So it's a very punchy panel to begin with. But once you've seen OLED, and trust me, the camera here is not doing it justice. Once you've seen OLED, you're not going to want to go back to a standard IPS display again. This display is gorgeous. One millisecond pixel response time, by the way. So for gamers, it's excellent. It's very responsive. You're not going to see any ghosting at all. So very snappy response time. But 
absolutely beautiful in terms of contrast and saturation and color. The deep blacks of OLED, if you're, if you're familiar with the technology, OLED displays are just tops when it comes to really any sort of panel in the mobile space. They are expensive, and so um, you know there's a cost, a premium here associated with this. The base system without OLED, a base uh, Alienware 13 R3 starts at $1199. The first option you get in the OLED configuration starts at $2,099. So it is an expensive uh, upgrade in general just because the config, the loadout that Alienware bundles with the OLED option is a little bit higher end, but absolutely well worth it. You're talking about a premium gaming laptop here. You might as well get the best panel you can get. And trust me uh, when I tell you the OLED option with the Alienware 13 is absolutely tops. It's, it's excellent. And finally, touching quickly on the power side of the equation, here's a quick look at the AC adapter. 180 watt power brick, a little bit larger, certainly the most 13 inch notebooks, but for gaming notebooks, this comes with the territory. You get a power that quad core CPU and that GeForce GTX GPU. Uh, so you do have a little bit heavier power requirement here. 76 watt hour battery on board. And again, for the machine, you know, that's a pretty sizable battery. For the size machine, 13.3 inch, 5.8 pound machine, it is very power dense. So impressive stuff uh, per square inch from the Alienware team. Now in terms of acoustics, you're going to hear the fan spin up in the Alienware 13 R3 when it's under heavy gaming workload. That just comes with the territory. You've got a 13 inch machine here, that GeForce GTX 1060 GPU, that quad core CPU. The cooling has to kick into gear to keep things under control. However, I would say the machine isn't any louder than the average gaming notebook in its weight class and certainly in its performance class. And the Alienware 13 actually does a pretty good job of keeping things cool without having that acoustic signature get out of hand too much. It's pretty impressive. Also impressive is the performance you're getting from a 13-inch notebook here. We're running Gears of War 4 at 1920x1080p uh, and it's set on ultra settings. So 1080p ultra we're getting 72 frames per second in the stock benchmark that comes with the game. So impressive stuff, the visuals look great, that OLED display is gorgeous, and um, very fast pixel response times. Impressive stuff from the folks at Alienware with the Alienware 13 R3. Make sure you stop by Hot Hardware for our full review. We'll be digging into all the benchmarks and battery life and all that good stuff. I'm Dave Altavilla for Hot Hardware with the Alienware 13 R3. Thanks for stopping by.